Welcome back, people of the world, as your girl, Cassandra Mark and Rashina. And we have a special guest in the house, XBB Ninja Pepe. Pepe. As you are waiting, call up Pepe. Did yes, you Pepe so. <laughs> I gave them Pepe because I came out and realized that my Pepe was not a small something. Uh -uh. So, you know, I so, don't. so, like, what's the, like, what's the, what's the feeling like coming out? It's a strange feeling, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It is an overwhelming feeling. Like, you, one day you're going to the market, nobody knows you, you're minding your business. Mm -hmm. Second day, you're in the car, in traffic, and people are waving and shouting your name. So, nice. I'm just oh trying God, to get you. So Honestly, I've been like, Jesus. I, I wanted to sleep at some point. Then, people started... Um, Joe was tapping me that people are looking through the window and they, they want to wave at me. So, I'm like, hey, God. So I cannot even sleep now. Auntie, for your come and sleep. Okay, but you know, as one of the, you know, like your entrance into the house was obviously, like it shook it was grounds continuous. and tables. Mm -hmm. So did you know that was going to happen? I honestly didn't know that was going to happen because within me, I wasn't even sure of what I was going inside the house to do. So having Ebuka even ask me then that I had some bit of, um, attitude of course we all we all know that whatever ebuka asks you is what's going on on the outside mm -hmm. so i'm like ah, ah. i didn't even know that people noticed that i walked into that house because being inside the house is entirely different from watching yeah. what's going on when you're in the house you're actually living the experience you understand what's going on mm -hmm. but with watching it you watch what's shown to you mm -hmm. and they're like 18 housemates biggie cannot show you what's going on at every Instance. So were you scared? Were you I was like... scared. I was scared the first three days. I, I said it. I was telling Mike, Sadi, I was really, really scared. What were you scared of? I mean, reputation? No, reputation. I, I wasn't, um, I didn't go in with the other house. That, yo, you didn't go So you know, I was just literally thrown into the house. Mm. Like, I got a call. I had barely 24 hours to get ready. Mm. And from there, boom. You was that rushed? Was that rushed? Well, well I wanted to, I wanted brother, to ask, you don't know what's going to happen. Right. So, um, did you at some point feel detached, or do you think that people in the house feel detached from reality right now? <laughs> you would <laughs> see. You can't be in the house. Like we stay. I just found out yesterday that lights out is three a.m. <laughs> in the house, lights out to us. It's 12. We'll say, okay, uh, Biggie, don't turn off lights. Oh, yeah, 12 o'clock, let's go and sleep. Mm. And then it made sense as to why we would wake up and we'd be so tired. Oh, nice. Yeah, because you stay up till 2, you are just into you, it's 1 o'clock. Oh. So there's no what? clock in the house? No, no clock. No wow, clock. that's a new, guys, you just watching. what? There's no clock in the house. There's I, no clock, I, I there's no... I, I mean, and sometimes I would see that you guys are sleeping around past 4. Yeah. And I'm like, why are they just sleeping? Well, that's why you see them sleeping in the afternoon. We don't know time. Even when you're saying, oh, it's 4 p.m., it's probably like 2 o'clock. So, like, you can tell time when you go outside, like, to the garden? No, no you, you can't, can't tell. tell time. No. There's no sunlight? You only know, yeah, we have sunlight. You we only know it's, li it's light, like, it's sunlight. It's noon. It's, yeah. it's evening. Yeah. You can just perceive it. Yeah, of course, you can see it. But aside, you can't tell what time it is. I feel like we should make a Big Brother boy haunted house version. They're already setting oh, up all the tools. Um, somebody in the house joked and said that Big Brother is a haunted house. I and mean, it just might be true. <laughs> Not haunted in a bad way. Like, like we don't know what's you don't going know, on. See, like a propaganda. The house is haunted by the disappointments of the former housemates. So who is like your favorite? Who is like your favorite housemate? Jackie. Jackie. And Benita. Why is I she... have two. I can't have okay, one. It's okay. The people have come here and said they had five, but that's fine. <laughs> Just as long like... as you can tell us how, why you like. I think I have three now. Okay. okay. Tell me for each of those three. That's yeah. Benita, Jackie, and who? Tasha. Ta you know. You know. Like, I've been saying it, that when people are watching the show, you see what you have been shown. Right. But I'm no no offense to the other housemates, but Tasha is like the sweetest person in that house. I, I truly she wish is that genuinely could see that. sweet. I did tell her that besides when you are angry and shouting, mm. that you are like the sweetest <laughs> person in this house. And she is, she, you know, her blue is her blue, her red is her red. Mm. She's not blue today and yellow tomorrow. She sticks to She's this is me. She's consistent in character. She's consistent in character. Yeah. Oh, Venita is really lovely. Of course, sometimes Venita, Venita is um, hyperactive. Mm. There's no, you know, let's keep moving, drama, 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 action, action, action. Jackie is the opposite of Venita, but mm. um, Jackie, um, Jackie and Venita, what I like about them is the fact that they are really smart. Mm. They, you can, there are people that you can have 
depth. They deep. have depth. Yeah, oh. you can have deep conversations. And you know that, ah, these people actually have something mm. to offer. Jackie is just 23, but when she talks, you really have to question how old she how is. Old she is, she yeah. is talented. She, oh, no, I don't... So when I came out, um, people are saying, oh, Jackie is this. Yeah, Jackie I was going to ask that. People, like, people did say, call, call that um, Jackie and said that she's fake. And... No, she's not. She's just... A, she likes to be in her space. She's mm. there are people that are not used to being with. She even she says it that she or the whole Big Brother experience is new to her. Being mm. in a space, it was new to me. Being in a space with that much people and trying to adapt, understand this person. Nobody in the house is the same. They are so just like True. different characters. Different so characters. you're there trying to understand what makes this person happy, what makes this person sad. Mm. So it's it's an entirely different but amazing experience and unless you're in the house you really wouldn't understand, understand. what's going on there so we are the we are the outside looking and we don't really yeah. know so okay. what experience are you taking out and the experience that you're mm -hmm. taking out basically how are you going uh, to impute it because now your life has changed you know that it right? has changed my brother you're not NK something else you get pepper then NK. what what are the experiences that you are taking with you and what are the ones that you're going to impute into the future that you're looking at right now? That was like five questions. Do you get um, we'll Answer the ones Jeff I remember. Answer. Exactly. So my major experience is that people are not what you think they are. Unless you have a conversation with somebody and actually bother, not just say, hey, let me get to know you. You actually take time and say, mm. I want to get to know you. Because mm. before I got into the house, we all knew, even if you were not w watching the show, mm. there was a Tasha is the... I wouldn't use the word, but she's the drama queen, she's the Troublesome. Dish. But I went into the, I, there was also the notion that Jackie is boring, she's this, this person is that. There were just so many notions about different people. So I went into the house and I was thrown into Tasha's group. At first I was like, oh man. You just threw me into wait, the drama queen's wait, group. Wait, wait, was there any time that you were avoiding that? Were you trying to avoid not being in Tasha's group? No. Why would I avoid that? You can't avoid anything. If you're in a group, you're in that group. Okay. And when you are in a group, you, remember, you, you try to settle your differences if you're smart because you're presenting it to Big. And Big, he doesn't care if you like this person or not. It's none of his business. Mm. So I was just thrown into the house. Tasha's group. Okay, so let, let's, let's speak romantically, yeah? Before you enter the house, like, do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Was this before? Boyfriend, if you're down. watching. Let's get, let's get I, into I, it. As, well, which one is before? It's just like two days. I just came out two days ago. I know. Did you have the boyfriend before you got into the house or after I got into the house? Is anything possible? Two days? Oh, before I got into okay, the before. house. Okay, before. Did they have any reservations with you coming in? No, my boyfriend is the most supportive human being on the planet. Okay, did you like, have I heard that he boyfriend. was even fighting. And he doesn't fight. He was fighting? No, like on social yeah, he media. Was like he social doesn't media. even, he's the throw it at me, I would ignore you person. But that's, he's such a supportive person. Like he's the, babe, I want to travel to this place. Okay, 